peace in folks how are you doing use a force positive mental attitude we gotta try right um laugh all you cry as they say laugh all you cry so um you know whatever sometimes you gotta have a cry right it is what it is <laughs> um so you know it's been an interesting weekend yesterday was interesting quite a contrast um a rally for the same thing same same you know motives everything one in london one in cornwall west country london police are brutal attack people chucking people around slamming people to the ground straight away you can clearly see there's a couple of people that don't resist and the cops put it on them like they're resisting and you're like what are you doing so and then in cornwall couldn't have been any different it was like it should be right like people have got something to say they're taking to the streets they can have their say okay so the cops were in the background there was a couple with a camera up up by the cathedral you know said hello they were perfectly fine there was no attitude in any way shape or form from them london this is fucking, this is an illegal gathering. You can be arrested. Move now. You can go that way. I can tell you where to go. Sorry, what now? So, I heard someone saying, like, the cops are being, like, corralled in the fact that, you know, you're protecting the people. Get out there. Shut this shit down. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's, it's another level to see these coppers coming out like they do one of them you should have seen him it's all on camera subject access right on youtube he got cracking footage yesterday and all these coppers go to start like coming towards the people and i mean there was fucking loads of them this copper's going forward he's putting his gloves on like that goes like that and you're like he, that geezer's getting ready for a tear up like anyone who's like you know it doesn't even take anyone who knows anything. Like, you don't even need to have been involved in fighting to know that that fella was ready for a fight. And he's all dressed up in his cop's outfit with all his buddies. But slowly but surely, I think something's starting to fall apart. In, in You can see a lot of their eyes. A lot more like... And maybe it threw them because the protest... Because they were just starting to lynch people outside um, at Parliament Square. Again, the protests took to the street and and March, um, I think they ended up, they went, they did, they went past Downing Street and they fucking booed it on their way past. It was fucking brilliant. Well done to all them people walking past Downing Street, booing, that was brilliant. Because those criminals in there have got a hold of a police force that they're strong-arming people with. The decisions they're making on behalf of the people are not for us. So those people hiding behind them big gates with all these people that are all part of the humankind, right, that are helping these gangsters, right, you know. So I mean, I've been interested to see what's going on around the country and I'm gonna go to as many different places as I can to get footage. Because I think it's it's very interesting that London is being so rough and the rest aren't. You know, Manchester, you hear good things about this. They had one bad go up there and then the cops seem to like back off and, and let marches happen as they should. Like lots of others are. This isn't like every march is getting dealt with the same way at all. At all. From the Indian farmers to a gathering at Trafalgar Square that I saw that was hench that had at least 300 people there. Many not wearing masks and they were all talking about progressive stuff. Hardly a cop in sight. Yet these particular ones, they're fucking coming in hard. And it's unacceptable. So, because I've been thinking things like this, like we need like the fire brigade. We need like the police from other areas to come and escort us on our marches. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
say, no, guys, you need to back off, or we need to fucking boycott London. I mean, I don't know how boycotting London. I've just got, like, I'm just, I'm disgusted with it. And I, I don't see the point in us engaging in a battle like that. That, to me, is not even going to solve anything. It will really dig in for all the naysayers, for all the believers, or, you know, non-believers, depending on who's speaking. So for anyone who's just totally, like, can't wait for a vaccine and, you know, believes the entire hype off of the media and, and thinks that everybody's basically just, you know, like big walking infections, right? We're all just a deadly virus. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's some interesting research around viruses, information, a whole load of other sciencey stuff that I can't properly regurgitate because I'm not the scientist. I'm just a person who's gone and found stuff, found loads of information, been blown away with the you know overriding message and, and wants other people to have a look. And, and inside yourselves, you know, it's whatever you just got. I just want people to do whatever it's going to take for us to stand up and create a society worth having, right? I may not, may not have children of my own, but that doesn't mean that I don't want the children of today to have a tomorrow that's worth living in, and those that are being born into today. That's important to me. So I think that whatever we've got to do, we've got to do it. But I just don't think the clashing on the streets with the cops is really going to help. Although part of me thinks it sort of does, right? There's a paradox. Why did I take to the streets with a camera? Because I saw fucking cops being rough. So maybe I'm chatting shit. Maybe London needs to be a heavy focus. Maybe we do need to call on the fire brigade. Maybe we do need to call on the Sussex and the Essex and the Northern Polices and the Western Polices. Maybe we need to call on all the officers that believe in not only free speech, but the realisation that out of, what, 145,000 police officers in the UK, one of them, who already had existing conditions, got badly ill from COVID and you know the cops have been right in the front line of it haven't they with all of us dirty spreaders and I think there's a lot of coppers starting to realise a few things because people are shouting it in their face or even not shouting it but they're just conversing and they're just fucking saying you know asking them the questions and trying to get them to ask questions themselves you know, there's too many inconsistencies for this to be a fucking lockdown level virus. And now they're introducing tier four. Like. What? What is this? Matt Hancock fake cried on Good Morning TV over all this COVID stuff. Fake cried. Russell Brand, go check it out. I check out Russell Brand's latest video, man. There's a little montage of, of uh, politicians fake crying on TV. And we're, we're falling out over these people that are lying to us. And it's causing more divide. Whatever you think the reason is, who gives a fuck? However serious you think this is, that matters. General consensus is... I'd say probably 99.9% .9 of the public believe this is not as serious as what it is. Because actually when you go out and you're looking about and you're around, the amount of people not wearing masks. All right. In shops, there's a lot of people conforming, right? But see who's really bothered. Because those that are really bothered that have really bought this really deadly virus are like covering up everywhere. They're walking down the road with gloves on and masks on and they're fully fucking kitted out front to back as soon as they leave their house. Right, they probably sh Shit has probably been disinfected. They might even, you know, bag up the clothes that they wear out and, you know, either wash them straight away or just burn them. But most people I see are just like the conformers. 
the ones that don't really believe it, but they want to go shopping, they want to do whatever, so they're putting the masks on. And those people can change their mind and will do. And with more restrictions and inflictions on something they don't see to be true anyway, or to see to be that deadly, it's pushing people over the edge, and that's a good thing. But, you know, like many, I'm just keen to see healthy change. You know, I do realise that through this little conversation we've had today, that uh, that whole London police situation isn't the worst thing in the world. They're proving what's going on by the way they're acting. And you see them, like, masks down, shouting in people's faces when they've got them on the floor, like, fucking germs going everywhere. If this is a real virus, from what all the figures show and what everything's saying, on the official term, this isn't, like, conspiracies. Let's just round this... Let's just round this down a bit and just go 99% of the population. Let's say 98% of the population don't even get ill by it. Shouldn't we be, like, looking after the 0.2%? Not persecuting the 98. And we all know it's 99 point something anyway. So, you know, we've got to continue being heard. But I believe between us all, as people, we need to stop having a go at each other. Stop pretending like they're sheep and we're not. Like they're them and we're us. Right? It's fucked from the get-go. If we don't address that type of mentality, what's going to happen in the um, potential real change period, right? Because if this bit goes well then we've actually got a position where we could do something good. And if we're not in the right mind states and we're not like psychologically prepared for this on some level, the infiltration from the old problem, from the current problem, right, from the age-old families that have been infiltrating everything and causing the problems and owning all the resources and fucking with everything, they'll just infiltrate and destroy like they always do. So there's got to be a mindful way of creating the movement to grow so that this is all encompassing and so that it can't be infiltrated and stopped which is why I made that video about like having some type of a document to do with marching whereby it's like a consensus everybody who marches takes to the street every fucking weekend minimum we shut down the city centres all of them at once France did it for fucking a year on the trot. They've been fighting their fucking problem. And the more people that join that fight, the weaker that problem is because it's too spread out trying to deal with too much problem. So if we can be aware moving forward so that we can be mindful, you know, so that we're not just them and us in everything. It's all us. It's just there is a selection of people that did create a them and us. And them, the power families, anyone who wants to perpetuate the problem, just make your choice. You either want to perpetuate what's been or you want to make something that's actually good for us all. And then just dig into it. That's what I think, you know, because I don't know any real answers. I just know that together we can create answers. But that really is going to mean, like, everything that has been put in our way, we need to put it to the side. True unity. You know, if you disagree with someone, disagree with them. But if we're all coming from the same side, the disagreements are pointless at the moment. You know, we'll have to sort that out once reform comes, right? But for now, we've all got a common target. Because society is fucked with our health, mental and physical. There's lots we can do. And we're up on that time, people. So I'm going to have to bid you farewell. Use force, positive mental attitude. Be calm with your thoughts to yourselves and others. Keep love in your heart for yourselves and for others. And let's get it. Get what, John?
OMS, of course. Peace in.